Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video I'm gonna show you the titles that you have saw in the intro. Let's not waste any more time and begin. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. So this is my pre-recorded audio and we want to add some titles. So go to effects library and add a text plus. Leave it over your footage and shrink it down of your liking. Then highlight it, go to the inspector and put the desired subtitle that you want. I am also picking a font and choosing a color for it. Then I'm going to shading and on the page number 3 I am enabling the black shadow. That way I'm adding some depth on the subtitle. Also from the inspector you can reposition the subtitle. And when you're done with that go to fusion. Then you want to add a transform node between the template and media out. Then you can highlight it. Go in the beginning of the timeline, leaving the marker in the beginning. And then go on the right side on the inspector to make some keyframes. I'll be working just with the size so I'm selecting the keyframe next to it. Then the first metric that I'm gonna be using is that I'm making the size about 0.8. Then I'm moving the timeline playhead on the frame number 5 or 6, in my case on frame number 6. Then I'm going back to the inspector and changing the values of size to about 1.1. After I did that I'm moving two frames forward and I'm changing the size for the last time and putting them on values of 1. After making these keyframes you're gonna be ending with something looking like this. Even now it's looking really decent but we can make it even more smoother. So we're highlighting the transform, selecting the spline, selecting everything, then we're selecting zoom to fit and then we're selecting everything by pressing this one. Now that the all keyframes are selected we're gonna select the smooth spline and I'm gonna pull the line on the second keyframe making it look rounder and making the motions faster in the beginning and also in the end. And after you set up the spline this is what you should be having. Then we're gonna highlight the template and add one more node by pressing ctrl space I'm looking for a camera shake. I'm adding it between the template and the transform one and this is how the default settings of camera shake is looking like. For the subtitles we're not needing that much movement so basically I'm reducing all the values of camera shake nearly to zero and I suggest you do that as well if you want to get a similar result. By reducing it this is what you're gonna have. And now that we animated everything we're ready to jump into the edit app again and the cool thing about it is that we already have the template so we don't need to adjust anything else for the future subtitles. Now all you have to do is just make a copy, change the text, reduce or increase the length of it and the key thing is to make sure that it's fitting all the audio. And this is what I have. Hey everyone welcome to the channel. If you want to see some more adventures of facts make sure to watch this video and if this one was useful make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one.